With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so today's question is find maximum and minimum values if any of the following function given by first is fx is equals to 2x minus 1 the square plus 3. Similarly, second, third and fourth functions are given and we need to find the maximum and minimum values. So what is first function? First is given as fx is equals to 2x minus 1 the whole square plus 3. So for each x belongs to r, that is real number. You can say that 2x minus 1 the whole square will always be greater than or equals to 0 because if any if you put the value of x is equals to minus 1 also that will be square will be in the form of positive only so it will be greater than or equals to 0 so 2x square this 2x minus 1 the whole square plus 3 is given as fx that will be always greater than or equals to 0 plus 3 by adding 3 to both side you have f of x this is what this is f of x you can say that it is always greater than or equals to 3 so minimum value will be minimum value of fx is what 3 because it is always going upwards with 3. That means after that 3, it will not be before that 3. Because it is always greater than or equals to 3. So minimum value will be 3. So this is what minimum value. And it has no maximum value. No maximum value. Because it is going to up to infinity. So no maximum values. Now, second is given as fx is equals to 9fx square plus 12x plus 2. So... You can say that 9x square plus 12x plus 4 minus of 2. This is what? Adding 2 and subtracting 2 again. So the adding 2 will be what? Adding 2 here and minus 2 will be plus 4 and minus of 2. So this will be what? Plus 4 minus 2. And you can write this as 3x plus 2 the whole square minus of 2. For each x belongs to R. You can say that again 3x plus 2, the whole square is greater than or equals to 0. So 3x plus 2 minus of 2, the whole square minus of 2 is greater than or equals to 0 minus of 2. That means subtracting 2 in both the sides. So you can say that the function that is fx is always greater than or equals to minus of 2. So you can say that that minimum value, minimum value will be minimum value of f of x is minus 2. And maximum value again, no, because it goes to infinity. So maximum value is no maximum value. No maximum value. Now, we have third given as fx is equals to minus of x minus 1 the whole square plus 10. That is third. So we have what? You know that for each x belongs to r, x minus 1 the whole square is greater than or equals to 0. Then minus of x minus 1 the whole square, this is given is, it is always less than or equals to 0 because we have minus of sign. So it is always less than equals to 0. So you can say that minus x minus 1 the square as it is adding 10 in this side and 10 in this side also. So we'll say that this is fx that is equals to less than equals to 10 always. So fx is maximum at 10. So fx is maximum is 10. Maximum value is 10. And minimum value? No minimum value. Why? Because it is less than equals to 10. So maximum value will be 10. And it goes to infinity. There is no minimum value. So can say that this is. Now about fourth. Fourth will be gx is equals to x cube plus 1. So again you can say that as x increases gx also increases. So if gx in, if x increases gx increases. This is the increase sign. So gx has no maximum value. So gx has no maximum value. Because it has no particular maximum value because it goes to infinity. So it has no maximum value. Similarly, if x decreases, gx also decreases. So it has, gx has also no minimum value. That is any no minimum particular value. No minimum value. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.